its virus cancer program. So after Nixon told them to shut it down, quote unquote, they uh, went to the next phase of the program. They went into the CIA and they went into the National Cancer uh, Institute. So they never stopped doing what they was doing and they went into the same research study it was already doing, which is the virus cancer program. Next one. So even though on the, for the, the unsuspecting people, this looked like oh, America stopped and they're, they're participating in you know the greenhouse, the, you know being a uh, uh, what's the term for that? You know, uh, when they, everybody want to go biodegradable and oh, you green. Know, they want to go green and they want to mm -hmm. be you know earth friendly and all that kind of stuff. That's what the hippies and all that was felt like they had accomplishment here. Nothing happened. Just went into other programs that was more covert than this one. NCI at Frederick Cancer Research Center, old 4D, 4D tricks. You see that word tricks in here, I just had to make that a point. Funded and supervised some of the sciences, university, and contracting corporations, which was previously used in biowarfare research programs. So all they did was switch the name. And they went to the same funding of the same scientists, universities, and contract corporations, which when you see Merck, Pfizer, and all of those other people that we be naming, the Eli Lilly, these are the people who are getting them contracts. Lighten Bionetics, um, former uh, Bionetics research of 1966 to 1968, was named prime contractor. Now, what's interesting about this stuff is that whenever a company do something it's not supposed to do, instead of the government, the government goes and slap them on the wrist, charge them an um, inexpensive amount of money considering what they're making, they change the name and they can do it again. <laughs> under the war on cancer in 1971, the same year, AIDS was allegedly created under, the, under a mandate from the World Health Organization, the uh, <clears throat> WHO, and the uh, NAIC viral program, which is the same thing we, we read up here. And what they did was collected potential cancer-causing viruses and grew them in large amounts. Now, if you told somebody told you up here, stop doing it, and you go under another program and start growing it in large amounts and dis distributed them, um, distributed them. Thousands of animals were infected in the experiments, and the aerosol distribution of cancer-causing virus viruses was studied. This is the origin of chemtrails. So, when you see these planes going across, dropping this stuff on you putting it in the, um, uh, the fuel and allowing it to burn. They developed, they were studying how to do this at this time in 1971. Light and Bionetics worked extensively on the dispersion of bioweapons uh, uh, bio from aircrafts with air, with, with air Force contracts for the supersonic delivery of dry biological agents. So you can even use this in jets or, or, or aircraft that go past the speed of sound. Mm. Next. <clears throat> June 1977, um, it's supposed to be five years, I got five years, sorry about that. Five years after the U.S. had signed an agreement not to produce these products, the VCP, the, virus, uh, uh, the, the viral cancer program, produced 60,000 liters of the cancer causing uh, and immunosuppressive viruses. Now, you got this immunosuppressive stuff coming up in 1977, being developed in early, earlier than this. So it's basically telling you that AIDS was already in, 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 uh, in the workings. Next. NCI project off, uh, officer and former U.S. Air Force vir virologist, Dr. Alfred Hellman, worked with Mark uh, Chat Chattanooga, Chat how did you say it? Chat Chattanooga? <laughs> Why do they have these names like this? <laughs> you, know, like, you know, your parents, you gotta make it more confusing for people. Chat me like, like, like this got some meaning to this. He knew you was gonna do this lecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some black people will. <laughs> That's how you know you're really white. You don't have anything that they can recognize. It'd be a name that they can't pronounce. A researcher research worker at the Naval Base, a Naval Bioscience Lab, and a member of the NAIC Biohazards Work Group from the same place, the Naval Bioscience Lab. This is who he was. This guy was, he was connected to the NCI, um, the National Cancer Institute, 
as well as the Air, U.S. Air Force Virologist Program. And this guy was connected to this Naval Base Science, Bioscience Lab, as well as being an NCI member. Hellman also oversaw, um, oh, it's, I, I messed this up. Hellman also oversaw, in 1971, a $100,000 study on the physical and biological characteristics of, of viral aerosols, which is basically what I told you before. This is the chemtrail type thing.